Hey man, happy new year. Let's see what the new year holds in store. and white tuxedo model for the New Year's gig and it's another one that never actually existed but certainly should have look at that ain't she sweet oh yeah I found this guitar just the neck and the body sticking up in a bargain bin in a another music store which shall remain nameless but, but they're good friends and, uh, and I bought it, just the husk as they call it, the, the neck and the body, for 75 bucks. Figured that'll be a nice project. And I thought about it, and eventually I built it up and I got these other Silvertone pickups, these Chris Isaac pickups, and I made a Bigsby out of three old ruined Bigsby's and got the aluminum bridge and wired it up. And uh, I brought it back to that music store to show them. You know, hey, look, here's how it turned out. And they said, we're so glad you got that. I said, why? They said, your name's inside of it. So I had apparently sold or traded it away 15 or 20 years prior and completely forgotten about it. And it came back. So, you know, things come back to you. Guitar chose me, didn't it? This guitar, so magical, a lot of things, everything all together, but it's hollow, doesn't have F holes so it doesn't feed back, and then it's got these incredibly good sounding mini humbucking pickups. These were made for Harmony Silvertone by Gibson in the early 60s. They're basically PAF mini humbuckers, but with a narrower string spacing for the Harmony neck. This is also a short scale instrument, it's only 24 inches scale. So you get a lot more of the fundamental tone and less harmonics. It gives it a little more grit, a little more growl. Um, got an aluminum Bigsby bridge here. This Bigsby was made from three different ones, including the fixed arm Bigsby, which as you see is one piece, very efficient, no loss from the moving parts, uh, but just hell on your knuckles until you learn. Volume and tone for each pickup, voiced for each position. Telefunk and sticker couldn't resist, it just looked too good there. And uh, just a great all around, you know, West Side Soul kind of guitar. This is what you might have found being played in the Checkerboard Lounge in 1965. Except not one exactly like this, because this never really existed. Another Phantom. <laughs>